Hello, you Winter River students. Today's May, Friday, May 8th. Um, that means we only have two more weeks of school. So everybody needs to be sure that they're getting their APEX done. And you need to reach out if you need your quizzes reset or your passwords, your usernames. Reach out, call us, send us a message on Facebook so we can help you out. Make sure you're getting everything caught up that you need to. Um, also, if you want extra help, you're more than welcome to come into Uinta River High School and we can work one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, uh, one caveat is we'll be wearing masks if you do come meet in person. So just reach out to your teachers or to Cam, uh, your tutors, and we want to get you helped out. It looks like we might be on the, hopefully we're on the downhill swing with the virus. Uh, Uinta County posted six cases and six recoveries. And Duchesne County has eight cases and four recoveries. So hopefully uh, we're on the downhill swing on that. So also today we have a special, very special guest. We have Charles Denny with us. Charles, what have you been up to during this month's quarantine? Oh, uh, myself, just doing a lot of chores at home, you know, uh, spring cleaning and things like that. Last week during the windstorm, uh, um, a tree fell over on the house. So we had the cops here, the search and rescue, they were cutting everything down, got a few power lines, so it was a little scary. Um, I've been doing uh, graduate school stuff, so that's been a pretty good, uh, fun, fun process because it helps me with the kids too to see what they're going through as well. And um, just putting in grades, you know, everyone who's doing APEX stuff, I usually get the letters from CAM and I start putting the grades in and also I'm starting to you know, finish out the year and, you know, we're cutting it close. You know, most of our seniors are on track to graduate. You know, we have a few that we're kind of, you know, uh, worried about, but, you know, we know you guys can get it done. So, um, and like Aaron said, we definitely have the resources, you know, the school as of next week, um, we should be open for four days a week. Um, I believe from eight to four thirty. So, um, Brittany, myself will be there and I believe Alex will be coming through too as well. So, um, we're just going to be working on stuff for next year. Um, I'm looking to do some of the scheduling for the schools or for the students. If you guys have any requests, driver's ed, etc., you know, something like that, let me know um, and I can start getting that going. I'll do a shout out to parents and stuff so that we can get that taken care of. And uh, I know the juniors definitely did not have the ACT and I got an email from the ACT they're going to give us vouchers so that the juniors can take it at an APT location this year. It'll be either in October or August, I believe. So um, I'm trying to de devise a plan of how we can do that for transportation, everything for all the students so that everyone can get a fair chance. I mean, I would take advantage of this and, you know, within the next few weeks, we're probably going to start registering for that. It's a, it's a lot more, you know, different stuff that came about, you know, with the whole, you know, pandemic thing is because it just, it threw a lot of our scheduling off. But other than that, you know, we've got a few weeks of school left. You know, I'm very missing the bear dance. This morning I was thinking about the bear dance and, you know, the Head Start would have started the bear dance off for the weekend here in Fort Duchesne. So um, that's kind of a big bummer. But, you know, humming songs, thinking about memories, you know, it's always good too. So. You know, it's, um, you know, we're surviving, you know, we're holding it down. You know, I'm glad that, you know, the basin is keeping very safe. You know, our numbers ain't doing, you know, going, you know, spiking through the roof. So, you know, I'm glad for most of our, you know, communities and everyone keeping that safe too. That's awesome. And, yeah. Good. Well, um, that's awesome to hear. You're doing lots of stuff. So um, getting ready stuff for next year. I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see students again and have actual classes. It's not fun trying to do videos and just talk yeah. to my screen in this little uh, camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely miss all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, um, let's get started. I'm sorry that we didn't have one last week, a video net last week, but we're we're good to go this week. We, I guess maybe we had the suspension because we have a really awesome guest this week. Maybe that's why we didn't have one last week. So, okay. So we'll play the game. So Charles, um, we'll take turns telling you jokes and laugh at the ones that are really good and don't laugh at the ones that are not. 
All so right. I'll start. Um, okay. Have you, I have to, I, to make sure I have to ask, I can ask this joke. Have you seen the latest uh, Marvel um, Avengers Endgame or the whatever, which one's the last one? Is it the la- Endgame is the last one, right? Okay. Have you seen it? I have not. Oh, crap. <laughs> sorry. I'll just save sorry. this joke then. <laughs> Because you won't get it. <laughs> yes, right. I won't. So they're going to point anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. Maybe you like this one. Okay. Why was the weightlifter upset? Um, I do not know. She worked with dumbbells. They're dumb. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. I was close. You almost had me. I know. I almost did. <laughs> hey, Charles, why do elephants wear sandals? <laughs> why is that? So they don't get so they don't sink in the sand. Have you ever seen an elephant stuck in the sand? No. Works, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm a blonde at times. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> We might have to lower the level of our jokes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, if there's if there's a delay, it's not the internet connection. It's just me thinking. <laughs> hey, that should be a joke in itself, right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Next one. This is great because whenever I can never sign into my Amazon Prime account at work because I don't know my husband's <laughs> password and I always steal Charles' password. So <laughs> hopefully, you know, you'll get this one. Okay. What do you call two monkeys sharing an Amazon account? What's that? Prime mates. <laughs> that, okay. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a Prime member to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We can be prime mates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're monkeys sharing an account. Don't, don't tell your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, why do ostriches stick their head in the ground? Uh, I don't know. To look for elephants who forgot to wear their sandals. <laughs> so you're going back to the elephant thing. <laughs> Always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? No. He will stop at nothing to avoid them. That one's for Emily. That's yeah, it. that's an yeah, Emily yeah, one. Yeah, that was, a, that was an Emily joke. I got yeah. it, sort of, but <laughs> kind of. Charles, how do you know if there's an elephant in the bar? Why is how's that? His bicycle is parked outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a delayed one too. That was a, that was that was no internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Third one. Why are teddy bears always stuffed? Oh my gosh, I just messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave you the answer. Next. <laughs> We'll pretend you didn't hear that. Okay, why are teddy bears never hungry? Because uh, they're always stuck. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Darn it. Charles, how do you know if there are two elephants inside the bar? Because their bicycles are outside? Because there's a dent in the bicycle frame, correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right okay next one let's see okay why do fish live in salt water why is that because pepper makes them sneeze i'm bad today all right all right I don't know if you can hear it, but my, my breathing is almost giving it away for myself because I try not to laugh. <laughs> All right, Charles, how do you know if there are three elephants in the bar? Uh, 
<laughs> How? You just, you just stand on the dented bicycle and have a look in the window. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that's a good one, though. I got that one. Okay, Shauna. All right. Was this the last one, or we got two more? I lost count. So that's all. That's five. That was five? Well, you might have one more. I don't know who's going I don't know. I didn't keep track. I just know that mine were horrible. Aaron was on fire today. Aaron officially won. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, I got one for you guys. Awesome. Let's hear it. What do Indians call laughing midgets? Mini ha ha's. <laughs> mini ha ha's? Yes, mini ha ha's. Okay, you're gonna have to explain that one to us. I don't know either. It just I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes with Indian names and stuff. But yeah, that was cool. That was awesome. Thanks for having me, guys. Cool. Well, thanks for coming, man. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, all the kids are watching. They tune in and everything like that. I look forward to seeing them soon. Hopefully, the lockdown is over soon, so we can go back to having some fun in the communities and everything yeah. like that yeah and curfew hopefully that doesn't last, ha last so long yeah yeah i know the curfew got a little crazy lately but you know, we're definitely hanging in there and doesn't it's not too bad because i don't go anywhere late at night so <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're adults we're old we want to go to bed <laughs> yeah yeah that's what we look forward to <laughs> okay well right. thank you so much and um go ahead uh, have be safe everybody make sure you're doing good things and take advantage of being at home spend time with family um and we miss you guys and uh can't wait to see you guys again thanks see you guys see ya